this will probably be a super short video so I just wanted to get out a bag of the apples um, I have my database sheet uh, occasionally we print it off so we have a hard copy in case we want to add and subtract and not have to turn on the computer every time it says that I've got five bags from 2017 here from September of 2017 so a uh, little over five years ago so we're gonna get one of the bags of apples out for a snack later luckily apples are light there's a lot of apples in there but I want one of the five bags from 2017 they're most likely in a bag from harvest right because I'm expecting them to be further down yep okay there's some gala apples from 2017 so then we'll mark off one of the bags from 2017 the 2017 bags the original ones we got did not have a zipper top so once we open it we'll have to put it in a a zipper top bag of some kind or they will start getting moist right away they'll pull water from the air so we've got one of the bags out I'm gonna go ahead and open it uh, the main reason I wanted to take one out right now is it's five years old and I've had comments from people saying that they've done apples and in a couple of days after putting them in the bag when they test them they're soft and pliable they shouldn't be once they go in there they should stay the same as they are if they've been dried all the way it's really hard to tell if the food is dry uh, it might feel dry it might look dry but sometimes there can still be moisture in there kind of like when I did the rice batch the minute rice or the hash brown potatoes that were already dry a considerable amount of water came out of those things that would be enough to make apples moist again or at least pliable again they really shouldn't change so if you have a bad bag it'll change if I take these same apples and just put them in a really good quality uh, freezer ziploc a gallon ziploc a, a quart one a really heavy one they'll still be soft and pliable in a few days or a few weeks because moisture is going right through those bags and there's nothing you can do to stop that except use a better bag and even with that moisture is going to go through here eventually the plan is or the hope is that it'll be 25 or 30 years before it's an issue anyway we'll open this up and just take a quick look at this and then I'll probably either reseal it or put it in a different bag because no zipper on this one and I'm not really ready to eat the whole thing right now so let's take a look at them so the bag of apples we just took out is one of these five so I'll make a note on here and then change the database the next time we open that database okay and it does have the little tear off strip but I'm going to go ahead and cut it with the scissors and you can see that when I originally sealed it the probably this one was the first seal I did and it has wrinkles in it so it looks like I did it two more times above that to make sure that I had a smooth seal and it seems to have worked perfectly so I'm just gonna cut off just the sealed part oh get a a plate would have been nice something nice for a presentation okay and these are the gala apples and the oxygen absorber and it's still flexible so it's likely that it will still absorb a bit more because these absorb far more than their rated amount okay so you can see you've got a lot of apples in these because these were the bigger bags and that's great if you've got enough people to use them Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and just reseal that real quick but I'm not going to put it back on the shelf and reuse it or restore it we will use these right away okay so resealed now I so nice and snappy still and very crisp yeah very crisp and sweet still so I thought I should come back and mention that not all things get crunchy and snap 
when they're freeze dried. Very ripe pears. The first time I did very ripe pears, I thought something went horribly, horribly wrong because they had no structure and they just melted in your mouth. Then I realized that very ripe pears have no structure and melt in your mouth. It reminded me of pear flavored cotton candy, um, but they don't get crisp because there's no structure left. As apples get more ripe, they get less crisp or they seem to and the freeze-dried apples seem to get less crisp also as they're more ripe. Uh, shrimp doesn't get crisp, it just gets squishy. It reminds me of little shrimp-shaped little bits of styrofoam. Uh, not snappy or anything, you can just squish them and crush them. So there's lots of things that don't get crisp and they don't snap. Uh, these apples seem to, most of the apples we've done seem to. But if they're very, very ripe, then they have less snap to them. Anyway, just thought I'd better mention that. All right, we have melted chocolate, melted caramel. So now we can dip the apples in it. This was the bag that I resealed last time. It's from batch eight, so a little over five years ago. Gonna be careful for a Fuji. Nope, Gala, sorry. Yes, yes, I do care for one. Thank you. Ha ha ha. I'm gonna try mine with caramel. It does, but. Chocolate worked. I think caramel's gonna be better. Oh, well, you'll be the judge of that, and then I'll consider trying it. Caramel's good. I liked the caramel. I think the caramel is better than the chocolate. I wasn't even going to try chocolate because chocolate covered apples it didn't sound right. Well, I don't know why I thought it did, but I thought it did. But the caramel is excellent with this. Caramel, is it? caramel wraps. Okay. And then with a couple of tablespoons of cream to thin it out. Caramel apples are horrible. Freeze dried apple with caramel is completely different than caramel apples. I guess I could try it again. Yeehaw! Because you didn't care for it the first time. Maybe it's better now. Exactly. Hmm, still really the wrong flavor combination. What? If it's miraculous, will get better. Other people might love the idea though. Chocolate covered banana is good. So chocolate covered freeze dried banana would probably be great with chocolate.